All right, so I was walking by this abandoned building, okay? And uh, it made me see a spiritual teaching here. And the spiritual teaching is that our pain bodies, we could, we, in our childhood and even teenage and adulthood, we can abandon, we could disown our painful feelings such as fear and anger and being scared, being helpless, being unworthy, being sad, being hurt, right? So we could we could abandon them, right? We can deny them like they didn't exist because as a kid, we like, oh, we don't want to feel those, feel those feelings because we don't know how to self-regulate -reg as a child. And especially if we had dysfunctional parents and parents who didn't know any better, who were just, you know, crazy parents you know, dysfunctional parents like I had, and many of you have had too. Then we, ha we try to come up with coping mechanisms. And one of them is, I don't want to feel this feeling of unworthiness or being scared or being unloved or, or being angered because I got to be the good kid or I got to be the, you know, I, the, the good kid who gets all the good grades or score or is a good athlete who the dad or mom loves them because of their goodness. I can't feel these feelings. So I abandoned them. Right. Okay. But you know what, when we abandon them, look, look at you feel this, they're still here and they're solid. They're not going anywhere. Like it's not like these pain bodies, these feelings, they're not like a rickety old wood shack that over time, the weather and time, you know, you, you know, they, they disintegrate, right? Like you see, no, this is solid. And I think this used to be an old police station too. Old police station. In fact, I know it was an old police station, right? Look how solid it is, right? And a police station, you know, jail symbol symbolizes prison, symbolizes, you know, being under arrest and but but prison, jail. It's like you're 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 in jail. You're still in jail. You're still imprisoned by this solid pain body, all unresolved wounds from childhood. Ouch. <laughs> this is really solid. And I know, and it does, they do feel solid. I mean, it's taken me many years to dissolve certain pain bodies. I mean, they, they, they feel solid, just like this this old police station that's abandoned. It's not going away. This is not, this is going to last for, I mean, theoretically, I think this could probably last for thousands of years, just the way it was built. Like the, like the Roman Colosseum. So, but the way to dissolve them is to Bring them back up into the now moment. You got to bring them back up to consciousness, okay? Foster. It's like a, a foster child or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's like an unwanted child, right? It's a foster child. So these are unwanted th feelings, unwanted wounded children, wounded child been abandoned 
right? So you have to you have to bring them back up into the present moment, into the now, because they've been repressed. That's why a lot of you know we we all have these um, triggers and pain bodies from these old wounds. So we need to heal them to become free, liberated beings, free, awakened beings. Okay. So we have to heal them. And then, and the way to do them is to fa face them. And then I'm using the analogy of the um, Grand Canyon. One way that this stuff could dissolve, this hard rock, like the hard rock of the Grand Canyon was dissolved over thousands and thousands and thousands or whatever years, millions, by water, by the flow of the now, flow of the Tao, by water and over time. That's why when you bring presence to them, that's why when you expose them to the now, over time they dissolve. You're not feeding them anymore and you're not repressing them. And over time, this hardness, this hardness of your inner wounds dissolves and gets transmuted into peace and love and kindness and compassion okay and it could take years so just know that and also do other healing modalities with this you know see go to therapy if you need to do uh psycho psychedelics like ayahuasca can be helpful i tried that um, EMDR is, uh, it has been helpful for me. EFT has been helpful for me. And there's a lot of other healing modalities that can help you dissolve this hardened, inner wounded child that we've been carrying around. Okay. Cause we want to be free liberated beings. Okay. We want it. We don't, we're, cause we're still in the prison of these feeling uh, of these inner wounded children. Okay. And we want to be free from that. All right. So that's what I got here and love you. Hopefully this has been helpful and love you. And until we meet again next time in the freedom from these, these hard, I'm gonna, I don't know. I kind of like this hard, God, this, this is hard freedom. We want ultimate freedom freedom, but you got to face them from these hard pain bodies, shadow energies, and we're releasing them and healing them in this beautiful now moment.